Hello, hello everyone, Ryan from Avatar Aquatics. Welcome to another video. A lot of you guys don't know we have actually a pretty big orchard in my backyard. And today we're gonna give you a tour on this particular tree here. This is a Shinseki Asian pear. And if you've never had one before, these guys are super, super sweet. They actually have sort of the taste of a pear, but the crispness and the texture of an apple. So I really like these ones. They fruit very, very well. This particular tree is about five years old. We got this as a tiny little plant from the nursery and up until like maybe two years ago it hasn't really fruited that much but every year it's increasing in the yield so i'm really really excited to do a harvest for you guys today so let's get started and dive right into it so the reason why we are harvesting now is if you take a look very like at this side of the fruit it isn't actually a hundred percent uh, it hasn't matured yet, it isn't ripened yet. And the issue with not um, harvesting now and just leaving it on the tree is that we have a lot of deer and a lot of squirrels that are very, very happy with coming over and testing things out. And they'll actually bite through the plastic bag. So even if you have a plastic bag, you're not 100% safe. So the, the best method now is to just take out some of these very close to ripening ones and just put them into a uh, house into your like drawer or like a nice cool place and these guys will ripen off the vine too look at this plant right it's beautiful look at, look at this and uh, I brought a bucket to put these in so let's go ahead and do that all right guys so this is the harvest of the year uh, we actually harvested a little bit more earlier in the year about a week ago just to see if we could like try to ripen it at home and the answer is yes you could um so we actually had a little bit more than that but overall this is what we have for today look how cute this one is it's like super super small compared to the other one I actually accidentally stabbed this one but i have in my hand one that i actually washed already um i do recommend washing this even if you have the plastic bag so we're going to try to cut into it and very first thing like i said this fruit is very very firm you guys could probably hear that um that crunch like i said before this is very crispy crispy fruit and you know i don't think i cut through that side enough so we're going to try and uh, finish that cut here okay so the inside is actually there are seeds inside um so i'm going to go ahead and set this somewhere on the grass i guess and uh, show you guys what this is i'll cut off the seed like that we can just toss it onto the ground and let me move that forward so you guys actually see me so this is the 2021 shinseki pear tasting and um this is homegrown no any sort of weird artificial ripening process on the vine or on the tree ripened on the vine and uh, let's get into it so the skin first off is very 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 thin it's papery thin there's like almost no skin so you could just eat this entire thing like an apple mm. it's got the avatar aquatics seal of approval this is just incredibly sweet super crispy when you bite down you feel the crispness and then as your teeth like kind of close and mash together that fruit just disappears because it's literally all sugary water it's got a hint of apple in it um you get that nice little aftertaste on the apple that like kind of like a little bit of dryness to it but it tastes more like a pear in my opinion like one of those green pears that you get at the store um, but it doesn't have like the mushiness of the pear it's completely completely crispy I'm gonna eat oh my god like the skin is just you don't you barely even feel the skin when you're chewing down there's no like weird bitterness or aftertaste on the skin it's just paper thin i really really highly recommend 
growing this variety, this Shinseki pear. If you guys have room in your orchards or in your backyards, you can grow this in a pot. It just won't be super big. It'll still fruit, um, especially if you're up north. Um, these guys survive our winters here down in North Carolina. I'm in zone seven um, and they do just fine. The late frost is a bit of a problem, but most years like this year, like was super, super hot. Um, and we didn't really get that many late frosts. So a lot of fruit made it. Uh, the year before that, it was still, it was colder, but we still had a lot of fruit too. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to me. I'm trying to branch out and do more videos and different videos, not just aquarium stuff. I will still continue posting aquarium stuff, but I want more things on my channel just to show you guys the kind the kinds of things that I'm interested in. So thank you guys so much for watching it, and I will see you guys next time.